Well, to discuss this story a little further, we're now joined by, uh, in the studio by the General Secretary of the uh, National Transport Movement, the NTM, Sir Ephraim Mpatlele. Thank you very much indeed for joining us, Mr Mpatlele. So, uh, what are your concerns about the Hawks? They seem to say that uh, it's not true that, that they're trying to stall, cover up, or not investigate. In fact, all what we can say is that they are not telling the truth. Because mm. we opened the criminal case against Lucky Montana and his accomplices on the 28th of August 2015. We gave them all documentary evidence that points to a massive corruption, so to speak. But the Hawks have still not acted to date. So they say that uh, these things take time, that they're under-resourced. Could that possibly be true? It can't be true because we gave them um, prima facie evidence, um, they didn't have to, 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 to work that much um, to uncover um, the issues that we have already brought to their attention. The documents, are, the documentary evidence are there. So we've given them, we've, we've handed them to them. So what do you think is going on? We hold the view that the hawks are actually captured. And it is for that reason that they do not want to act. Because they are afraid of exposing corruption on the part of those who are handling them. Who have they been captured by? They have been um, captured by the, the regime. Um, we had seen as, um, um, on numerous occasions as to how the regime had actually failed to deal with issues of corruption. Who is the In regime? Particular, um, um, the government, the, 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 the current government, the Jacob Zuma's um, regime, so to speak. So you're saying the current government, led by the president, is corrupt? It is corrupt. And that we are saying that without fear. It is a corrupt government. Um, it had deliberately been covering up corruption instead of acting decisively in an appropriate manner in order to bring the corrupt to book. Who at Prasa then was blocking the, uh, was covering up, as it were? You said the Hawks refused to investigate, but at Prasa, there must have been people who were busy trying to make sure that this doesn't come to light. Remember, these matters, they date back to 2012. In 2012, the then um, Prasa's board of directors under the leadership of um, Sifiso Butelesi, who is currently the Deputy Minister of Finance, had actually been um, making all efforts to, to block um, the investigations and cover up corruption in there. He denies it. And is it possible that maybe things were happening at an executive level that he wasn't aware of? Um, I had personally um, led a delegation into a meeting with um, Mr. Butelesi, wherein I handed a dossier to him. And he claimed to have um, investigated and um, issued out um, a concocted um, um, report that cleared Lucky Montana. But um, surprisingly, the public protector had then made adverse findings in respect of the very same dossier that we handed to Mr. Butelesi. And it is for that reason that we are saying um, he had covered up corruption at the time when he was still a, cha a chairman of the, the board of directors in Prasa. So Minister Dupur peter is trying to get rid of the current board. Why do you think that is? <coughs> we believe that um, she was trying to get rid of the board because the board was actually pursuing forensic investigations in relation um, to the corruption allegations <coughs> that NTM had raised. Are you suggesting she's part of the cover-up? She, she had been part of the cover-up. <coughs> it is unfortunate that she had to leave the office. But of course, um, we were also vindicated by um, the North Houghton High Court when they ruled that um, her actions and or decisions in respect of uh, the disbandment of the board and the replacement, the subsequent replacement with the new board 
was irrational, unlawful, and the court went on to set aside so um, that ent particular decision. So enter the new minister. He's going to rotate the board as well. Are you saying he's part of the cover-up? He is also part of the cover-up. Um, you would have realized that he had written to the board, to the current board, and asked them to furnish him with reasons as to why they should not be dissolved. And remember, the current board is left with um, appro approximately five weeks to complete um, its, its tenure, if one may put it in that manner. So the rush or the part of the newly appointed minister is part of the political cover-up because those who had actually been exposed in relation to this person um, corruption, they are politically connected so to the regime, <clears throat> including the ruling party. So people might say NTM is part of SAFTU and actually you're part of another political faction that is, um, and it, this is a political story that's playing out and that you would come here and you would make these accusations because it's politically expedient for you. Um, it would not be correct. We are not affiliated mm. to any political party as NTM. Mm and SAFTU. We are politically independent. We are articulating on the issues that are mm. of our great concerns that are affecting the whole society. Do you have evidence right now that there has been corruption at Prasa? We, ha we do have evidence and remember the public protectors um, delay derailed the report. It had actually vindicated us but we do have evidence and oh, that yes. evidence we have shared it with the hawks but we still have evidence at our disposal all right we, we've run out of time but what do you want to happen we want we would want um, um, a prasa to pursue this um, um, issues in the court of law in order to recover all the monies that have been, been, been lost um, through this corruption. And we would also um, want, um, um, we will also want the Hawks mm. to arrest those who are implicated and, and, and bring them to book. Okay. They've got evidence in their disposal, they've got to effect those arrests as a matter of agency. In fact, there's no justifiable reason as to why they cannot arrest those who are implicated. All right, Mr. Mpatlele, we're going to have to leave it there, but thank you very much indeed for sharing your thoughts with us. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so that was the General Secretary of the National Transport Movement, Mr. Ephraim Mpatlele.